Hello, welcome back to the workshop. As ever, it is such a blast to have you here. I'm still really excited about the grappling hook I made the other day. That is so much fun. But today it's on to more serious matters. I recently changed my insurance policy and the insurers I now have, they want me to have a bar across my door. Now they want said bar to go the whole way across the door and then have whatever class of uh, padlock it is on the policy wording to then padlock it so the door is as secure as possible. So I need to have a good think, make uh, some designs in my head, and I'm gonna run to the steel supply. I also need to run a couple other errands, I need to get some abrasives, and then hopefully start making something up for this door. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just looking through my policy wording to see if I can get this as close to what the insurers want. And I think I'm gonna go overkill. But what they're saying is I need a security grade five padlock. I think I'm gonna run my errands. I need to get some abrasives. So we'll do abrasives and then steel supplier, I think. I think that's the best way to avoid the traffic. I'm now gonna go get some abrasives. Uh, the abrasives I'm gonna get are some mops that I use to uh, clean up the hammer faces. They work really, really well. I made an arbor a few months ago in a video. I'm gonna leave that up there. And that arbor, Teamed with these mops is like the perfect hammer face finishing tool. Time to go to the steel supplier. My favorite steel supplier. This is young me. I was 16 in that photo. Cheers, Marty. Okay, okay, so today is the day after, and while editing this video, I realized that at one point yesterday when I'm filming, I left the camera on for 15 minutes without me realizing, and I was replying to emails while I was doing that, have a look at this. I never knew I did this. I'm gonna be frank, running errands is not the funnest thing for me to do in the world. However, I have done the errands, I've got rid of all those boxes, I've put them all up there on my big shelf, and now I've got to start getting to work on this locking bar. Let me explain to you my concept. The locking bar will be received in this piece of rectangular tube. That rectangular tube is going to be welded to a little piece of this plate. This bar will continue along the entire length until I mill a slot in this bar, make another plate with this, and make a thing that sticks through this hole that'll accept the padlock. Seems easy enough. I need to work out where to start. I think I'm gonna start by cutting up the backing plate, so I'm gonna cut two of those. What's up, Sam? Good seeing you, buddy. And you. What are you eating? Fruit shortcake. We're watching Sam's new YouTube video. I'm gonna leave a link below so you guys can check it out.
to normal speed reality. So, I'm now going to be milling a slot in the long bar so that that piece that I just made will go inside the slot for the padlock to attach. Uh, I'm going to do this with an end mill and what I'm going to do is I'm going to swivel this vise around 90 degrees to where it is now, tram it in so it's parallel with the Y axis of my mill, yeah the Y axis of my mill, then I'm going to put that up and then I'll be milling in this direction back and forth to make that little pocket, that little slot. piece of cramming I've ever done. Great! Let's mill a slot. So the forge is now hot. These plates all need square holes. Ow! That's hot! Oh! They've been there a while. I really should have thought a little more about that. These plates need to be heated up so that I can drip them square because coach bolts have a little bit of a square thing in there so they can't be unscrewed. Very good, very secure. So, in order for me to drip those holes, I have a piece of the same size square and I'm going to forge a taper on it about an inch and a half long or so. It doesn't need to go down very small. Gently take the corners off. Flattish. Then leaving enough material to drive through a couple inches, I will go ahead and cut it off. Okie dokie. Grip it in a pair of tongs. And now, so that it drops all the way through and it doesn't get hung up in the hole that I'm drifting it through, I'm going to forge a slight taper on the rear end of this. no longer yesterday, it's today, and I don't know where I left off with this video, but I will tell you what I have to do now, or at least what I've done and what I have to do. So I have the plates all welded up, that's good, they've got some good welds on there, really with ha really happy with how all that's gonna be. I'm now gonna mount them on the doors, but before I do that, I need to make sure that up there, and down there, I have appropriate fixing points for the bolts. It's a little crusty. Well, that just is not at all good enough. Got my uh, security grade five padlock here. The bar goes all the way across. Got the piece of tubular steel right there. That's not gonna come out. You're not gonna be able to bend that out of there without a hell of a lot of force. I call that a great success. I really hope you've enjoyed seeing uh, some, of the, some of the other parts of running a business, which is you gotta do things that you don't always wanna do. I didn't wanna do that, but I've actually managed to have a lot of fun while doing it. And it's all the more better to have brought you along for this video. So thank you very much for watching. I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow on the next video. Please do leave a like below. Also drop us a comment. Always love hearing from you and reading your comments there. Two videos right here. Of course, I'd love it if you'd check out another one. And if you're new, please subscribe. I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.